Good morning, folks. At least uh, it's morning for me. I'm not sure where you're at. Maybe afternoon, evening. <laughs> but uh, good afternoon, good evening, either way. Um, this video is for people that just feel like they're meant for more. You're getting up every day. You're going to that job you hate. And for what? To get off work by number seven from McDonald's, you know, maybe rent a movie on Hulu if you can afford it and maybe have enough to keep your lights on, pay your landlord's mortgage and uh, feed your family. And uh, here's one thing. The, the poorest people in the United States are richer than ever the rich in the rest of the world. Nobody's oppressed in this country. And I think the middle class and the lower class are dominated by the population. That's obvious. There's just more people there. And there's a reason for that. Our schools and as well as our society grooms pretty much everybody to be that from birth they don't teach you about money at school for a reason it's because they don't they're, they're not trying to make millionaires and entrepreneurs and people that can change the world you know they're trying to they're trying to make employees like george carlin the comedian said in one of his stand-ups you know they they want uh, compliant, somewhat competent workers. People just smart enough to run the machines and just dumb enough to stay in that rat race and do that shit the rest of their life when they don't have to. You know. There's some sayings about money that I despise that are really popular. And most people believe them because they've heard them all their life. The first one is, it takes money to make money. No, it doesn't. That's not true. That's not true at all. It takes courage to make money. Hundreds, thousands, millions of immigrants have came here with nothing and succeeded. Showed up with nothing. The clothes on their back. They didn't, they didn't show up with money. They showed up with courage. You know... You have to have a belief in yourself because for some reason, innately, like most of us have this deep down gut belief that, you know, becoming a millionaire is for the better people. The, you know, the, I'm, I'm middle class. My, my, I didn't come from millionaires. I didn't come from money. I'm not supposed to have it, you know. And uh, you, you got to move past that and learn to believe in yourself. You know, the, the guy with a hundred billion dollars pisses in the same type of toilet you do. If he can have it, why can't you? Why shouldn't you? I think if you really want to know, here, here's another uh, popular belief about money. You know, people with a lot of money generally aren't good people and they screw people over and, you know, they're just greedy. And that's not true either. The majority of people with big money got there with their motive being helping other people, because no matter what business you're in, I guarantee you it's a business of relationships, you know? So you got to hold yourself a little higher up there, you know, there's nothing wrong with uh, thinking you're the shit, <laughs> you know, in my opinion, because if you don't, who else is going to, you have to come up with ways to make the connections to uh, make happen what you want to happen to accomplish your goals. That's very important. Just knowing what your goal is. Knowing what you want, knowing what number you're trying to hit, your target. And then you have to create vehicles to get you there through relationships, connections. 
you know, um, another old saying about money, you know, live below your means. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I told my nine-year-old daughter that the other day. I think that's the cruelest thing you could tell a young person. You know, live below your means, play it safe. Get that secure job with a couple uh, bullshit benefits and you made it. No, that's that's giving your life to someone else. You know, your life's not your own anymore. You're making someone else rich. You know, instead of your own family. So here's here's the question you have to ask yourself, you know, especially if you're a young person. Before I even get to that question, I'm going to tell the people in their 20s. I'm, I'm not uh, that old. I'm 34. But I spent my whole 20s, my entire 20s, uh, drinking, partying the nightlife, chasing women, you know, and yeah, I would hold down a job, I'd get up and go to work, but I wasn't getting anywhere, I was in the rat race, I'm working all week long, doing something I don't want to do for somebody else, just to have a little money to party on my two days off, and then it's right back to work, you know, it got to the point where I was working just to have a place to sleep and gas to get back to work. How much sense does that make? That's not life. That's just existing. You know, and it's probably a miserable existence for most people. It was for me for a long time. But here's the question you got to ask yourself. I'll get back to that. Would you rather have wealth tomorrow or be rich today? You know, because everybody's looking for that fast, that, that fast buck. You know, people people are looking for that quick thousand bucks instead of $25 a week cash flow possibly for 50 years. I mean, do the math. <laughs> I'd rather have the 25 a week, not the thousand. So cash flow, that's an important word. I want to touch on that for a minute. Because some people don't understand that. Cash flow is when you create an asset that produces a steady income. Um, th this is legitimate, but it's the same thing in the illegitimate world, the mob. They, ca they call it rackets. You know, It's something that makes you money every week once you start it. You know... So, we're we're talking legitimate. <laughs> but so yeah. I'm uh one thing I'm interested in is like uh storage units. Cuz once you buy the land and build the building, it's all profit every month. It will pay for itself and then it's all profit. You know, it might take a little minute to pay for itself, but you'll get there. Okay, now you have this profit. What do you do? You go lease a Lamborghini? That's not what I would do. I would use, they call this parlaying in the gambling world. You win a bet. Um, so you roll that, your winnings, in with your original bet on another big money bet. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But that's part of it. You have to embrace your failures. Because, uh, you're you're always going to learn something from them and they weren't lying to us in elementary man knowledge is power <laughs> reading is cool it really is man it makes the difference between i mean everything i i could go on any level you want but so i'm sorry if it seems like i'm rambling there's just so much to touch on but yeah so those are just a few key points you can change your life if you want to. You don't have to keep getting up every morning going to that job you hate. But you're going to keep doing that until you stop doing that. You know what I mean? I can promise you that. 
So you have to put things into play for your future. Use if if you're if you're in the rat race, you know, use some of your wages to finance some of your ideas and business goals. Don't just take it to the mall every weekend, you know. You can't write off a Gucci belt. <laughs> It costs, I think, I'm here in Arkansas, it costs $400, I think, to start an LLC. You know, you can start an LLC for three or 400 bucks, any kind of business you want. And um, that's immediately, it's almost like another identity because it's a completely separate en entity than yourself. LLC, limited liability. That means... The worst thing that could happen is that company gets sued or goes bankrupt or loses. You know, it has nothing to do with you personally, your name, your credit, none of that. So try coming up with a little business, you know, and um, once you do start building, start a business bank account in its name, start building up some business credit. You don't have to have $10,000 to start a drain company, um, a delivery service, anything. You can start the business before you have a drain machine. Make the right choices financially. Maybe uh, start on some unsecured credit lines, build up a little credit in the company's name, then you can get a loan. Then, you know, you can get the stuff you need to run it and you'll it will run because you have what you need. You know, and you're prepared, everything's legitimate and squared away. And, you know, some people, they say, I own my own business, but they really don't. They own their own job. Because they work there. They're driving the drain truck. You know, you just own your own job. The day you stop snaking drains is the day your company stops. So, also think about, you know, get getting other people in position to make, to run it for you. Pretty much. Like you're doing for somebody right now. You know? It's like a big chess game. It's all about the moves you make. And you have to have the courage to make them. You know. It's, it's not about money. It's about freedom. You know. Anyway. I'm going to stop talking your head off. But if you got anything out of this. Like and subscribe. Because I'm, I'm full of these little pearls of wisdom. You know. And uh, I'd like to collaborate with any and everybody on any ideas you may have you know if we just have a discussion about some business there's a good chance both of us will learn something from one another that's invaluable that's the point i'm trying to make it's not just about a big check or a big lump sum of money oh i made it i'm rich <laughs> i know a lot of people that claim they want to be rich and if they found a million dollars on the side of the road they wouldn't know what to do with it You know, they're, they're poor, but they have, it's because they have a poor mentality. It's, you know, a poor outlook, a poor attitude, a poor self-confidence, you know, it could, or a combination of all of them. So if you don't want to be poor, stop doing what poor people do. And uh, when I'm talking to you guys, I'm talking to self. Because it's, it's a process. You got to work on it every day. You know, it's not a destination. It's a journey. So, you know, it's a lifestyle. You have to live it if you want to be successful. And not struggle. And not have to sit there and stare at the gas pump when you pump it. Hoping you don't go $2 over and overdraft your account. Or, you know what I mean? Come on. That's not living. But anyway, like and subscribe, please. Comment, whatever. Um... I'll take the positive with the negative, you know, 
if you got anything out of this, I, I hope you did. And I'm glad about that because maybe the right person saw it that needed to hear just this and it changes their life and the lives of people around them, man. That's, that's big. That's what's up. That's why I made this video. Um, but also I'd like a little YouTube money too. So subscribe, man. I'll subscribe back and, uh, you guys have a good day. Let's get it.